All right. This is an internet historian. The title of this video is called Brad's Wife. We don't know what happened to Brad's wife. I don't know what happened to Brad's wife. But we're about to find out. Internet historian will tell us what happened to Brad's wife. We're going to find out. Without further ado, let's do this. Tell us what happened to Brad's wife. Sponsored by Dash Lane. February 27th, 2017. Okay. A woman comes home to deliver her husband some bad news. Oh, no. She has been fired from her job at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. How dare they fire someone from Cracker Barrel? I actually like that restaurant. I don't have one up here, but when I've been there, their, their food has been fantastic. But how dare they? How dare they do this? Dang damn it. They gave no notice. They gave no reason. Wow. The husband, Brad, embraces her. A tear rolls down her cheek. Brad's hands tighten into fists. Eleven years of service. Wow. He whispers under his breath. Ninette, fetch me the computer. <laughs> to say I'm pissed off would be an understatement. After 11 years of service, those lowlifes at Cracker Barrel let my wife go? I would really like to know why. And those of you who know me these days know that I will find out. In the meantime, if any of you would also like to know, please go to their Facebook page and ask them. This old boy is storming. And send. Get it, Brad. It. Get it, Brad. With that, he put his arm around an ear. And they fell asleep together on the couch. A week passes. It's Brad's birthday. Let's go, Brad. Hey, has there been any word back yet on why you're fired? This old boy is still storming. She shook her head. <laughs> Outrageous. Nanette, fetch me the computer again. I'm going to make another Facebook post. He's both on his birthday. Today is my birthday. Why did you fire my wife? That's got to do it. That's got to do it. Now we wait. Yep. Don't forget your cake. Enjoy your cake, Brad. Brad squinted his eyes, made a wish, and blew. <sighs> he put his arm around the net, and again, they fell asleep together on the couch. But that night, as they dreamed, something special happened. A miracle of sorts. People started joining in. Let's go! People saw the post, then semi-sarcastically also began demanding Justice answers. for Brad's wife! Let's go! Then more joined in. Then more. You monsters fired Brad's wife. Justice for Brad's wife. Eleven years. Release Brad's wife. The template of the joke was simple and spreadable. Promoting desserts, are we? Brad's wife used to love desserts. Mm. New item on the menu? Brad's wife would have made it twice as good. Today we remember 9-11. Brad's wife used to love 9 -11. It spread from their... <sighs> of course you'd make that joke. Their Facebook, to their Twitter, to their Instagram, to all of their social media platforms. But this wasn't your usual raid by 4chan. This was something different. An army of mostly boomers putting cracker over the barrel. It was the mums and dads of middle America leading the charge. And Brad was there as the standard bearer. He embraced the meme. Why did you fire my wife? Get him, Brad. Please share, he demanded. Soon there was nothing that Cracker Barrel could post that wouldn't immediately be turned into a discussion about the plight of poor Nanette. So this is what happens, man. When you don't explain why you fire someone and you post it, here you go. All right, Cracker Barrel. You got to explain this. People are not going to be liking your stuff now because you fired Brad's wife. As always, a petition has started and goes nowhere. Huh? And once that failed, the calls started rolling in. Hi, I have a quick question for you guys. Yes. Why did you guys fire Brad's wife? So, uh, I guess what I'm asking is if you would just go ahead and hire her back. Uh, and then we can just pretend like this whole thing didn't happen. And what's a good harassment campaign without a soundtrack? I love you just fired her on Brad's birthday. Where's the justice for Brad's wife? 
If you wanna have no, your God, breakfast please, no, made. No. But this was just the beginning. Other companies saw this meme and decided to add fuel to the fire. Bruh. On social media, they were posting about Brad's wife. In IRL, they were huh. putting up signs promoting Brad's wife. And that prompted the news to get involved. More teens are having fuck, having huh? coverage from people. What? No, man. This is about Brad's wife getting a job. People Magazine, The Mirror, Washington Post, Fortune, and many, many, many more. Wow. That's when things really started to spread out into the streets. People made posters, signs, and t-shirts. And they even started visiting the restaurant just to ask about Brad's wife. Who's Brad? Well, Brad's not important, but his wife, they fired her after 11 years of service. I don't know what you're talking about. After 11 years. That, on his birthday. Is that, I heard about that. That yep. was terrible. Yeah. Now there's a wait time in here. How long? Oh, it's a long time. Because Brad's wife isn't here. Yeah. Brad could see that things were spiraling out of control. He called on the troops not to harass the local chain. The firing was a corporate decision. Good morning. I still have not heard from said company. But I would like everyone to remember that some very good people work for them. So if you want answers, please direct questions to the home office. They're the ones who fired my wife. But it did little to temper things down. You fired Brad's wife? You shall be on fire. You don't want to mess with that guy. Don't want to mess with him. He will set you on fire. Play it right now. He will set you on fire. So in all this time, Brad still hadn't heard back from the company, and we feared that we'd never get answers. But one smooth talker succeeded in getting a few details by pretending to be a manager from the corporate office. Mush, mush. I got this email from my boss today stating something about um, Brad's wife. Do you know her personally? Yes, sir. She was my boss. And that's when she spilled the beans. I think it was she had she was kind of a softy, sir. Now, from here, we could have just called it a day. They fired her because she was way too soft to be a manager. Can't be nice in a corporate chain, apparently. Hey, but here's the thing about boomer humor. They don't know how to let a joke go. Hmm? Once something is funny, it remains funny to them for years. And that doesn't spell good news for Cracker Barrel social media. So, that's what the future holds for Cracker Barrel. Years more of hashtag Brad's wife. But what about for poor Nanette? Well, there's good news. It turns out that a lot of those offers by other businesses to hire Brad's wife weren't entirely sarcastic. 11 years of service? Come on in for an interview. Dozens and dozens of real offers started rolling in. That's good though. Suddenly, Brad's wife had her pick and she could work pretty much anywhere she wanted. And that, roughly speaking, is where the story ends. You can still visit Cracker Barrel today, and the top comment will still be some dumb shit about firing Brad's wife. But that doesn't matter, because better than an answer, Brad got his wife a new job, and this old boy could finally rest. The storm had passed. Well, there you go. You know, you found a good ending out of it. Ad time. You go to log into your internet banking. I think I'm good on that. Well, there you go. You get a you get a solid ending for it, you know. Despite the fact that they wouldn't explain why they fired her and everything, you know, it turned this massive campaign of like, why'd you fire Brad's wife? But she ended up getting a new job, so I would say that's a win-win for them. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.